Why did I save this one for last? Which one? <laughs> See what happens? When you wrestle the slaws, when they win. When you wrestle with the slaw, yeah. It smells amazing. <laughs> All the way up there for lunch. Way up there. Look at this. Ah. Jumping Michelobes. Oh my god, maybe I can catch it. I did. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're so sweet. sunscreen on because we are in Roatan and we are going out and we're going to do a private tour today that is going to take us to the sloth and monkey sanctuaries we're going to go to a chocolate factory maybe a rum factory take go to a beach it's with a private tour you can kind of do what you want for as long as you want which is awesome and um, it's gonna be fun we haven't been to Roatan in so long nope long time this is gonna be a good day. That's right, right outside that door is Rotan. You can see the sky lift going from one end to the island to the other side where the beach is. So yeah, we're actually gonna go with a couple of our friends, uh, David and Debbie. Uh, it ought to be a good time. I've never been to a sloth sanctuary. I feel like I have a few times, but <laughs> never been there. So it's, I'm looking forward to it, it's gonna be a good day. big beautiful ship in the background yeah so we haven't been to this port in Jeez. two years three years it's been a while it's been a while so I want to say the last time we were supposed to come here the wind was too bad and we couldn't get into port it's gonna be a good day y'all I believe here at beautiful mahogany bay in Rotan we're gonna be going on the sloth sanctuary what's the name of the tour you well, remember it's Rotan fun tours mm -hmm. and they're just they're taking us to several spots around Rotan Island yeah so that's gonna be cool a little private tour mm -hmm. and I think it's just the four of us yep just the four of us got David and Debbie in just with us. The four of us just the four of us we <laughs> can make memories. it if we try <laughs> I think it's gonna be pretty cool okay so if you're booking a private tour here in Rotan they cannot pick you up inside the port. You have to walk right outside the port to get your pickup. I'm not sure exactly. I think they said, uh, Debbie was saying that they charge the tour operators more to actually come inside yeah, the port, which Debbie means saying, it would cost us more. So it's costing us less to walk up this hill. I don't mind that. <laughs> Ooh, it is hot with a mask on, y'all. My glasses are fogging up and my, my lips are getting pruny already. We found all the private tours. There's a whole bunch of them over here. Yep, there's all your private tours. Just at the bottom of the hill here. Alisa. Alisa, yes, that's me. Hey, Welcome, guys. Jason. Welcome. Hi guys. Hi. Hello, hello. Very nice. Good morning, guys, and welcome to the island. Sorry about the walk, you know. See, Carnival don't allow us to pick you guys up on the inside, but at the end of the day, we can't drop you guys back okay. up. All right, so we're just walking up to the car now, and we're gonna hop in and start the tour. You're gonna take that truck on the right, it comes with a zip line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Apparently there's a bunch of monkeys and sloths around here. You're here at Manawaki Park. On a Manawaki Park. <laughs> um, here at the park you guys will get to encounter with all the um, with the white faced capuchin monkey, the tree toed sloths, the macaws, the birds. And apart from that, you will Can anyone smell it and you can guess what it smells like? You can probably do it better than me. Basil? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And I'll see you guys since my lips are here. Okay? 
second. Lemon. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Lemon. Oh, yeah, we squeeze Lemon. it. Definitely. Squeeze it. <laughs> wow. Roll it and squeeze it. That's a big difference when you roll it. <laughs> Manawaki spices. What's the- Mountain pepper. That's the hottest. That's the hottest pepper here in Ireland. You bite it right there. You're gonna go crazy, bro. That's really hot. <laughs> is it hotter than a ghost pepper? It's really hot. I'm not pretty sure if it's hotter than a ghost pepper. You don't wanna find out? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Morning. Morning. My name is Julissa, and this is my partner. Dishon. And we both are the slot keepers. So before you guys saw the slot, mm. I'm gonna give you guys a little briefing so that you can know. In a part, we have the trito slot. They have the tuto and the trito. We have the trito. The tuto are more bigger and aggressive. The trito are smaller and calm. As you guys can see the mark in the bar, in the back, sorry, that's to tell the difference from the male and the, the female. Boys. The, boys, both the both of them is male. Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, in the wild, they can live 10 to 15 years. In captivity, they can live 25 to 35 years. Because we take a good care of them. We go to the jungle two to three times in a day to get the food for them and we bring it here so that they can eat. In the wild, they are too lazy to look for their own food. <laughs> there are Neptunians that can sleep all day and be awake in the night. They can only travel 100 feet. They are also claustrophobic. They cannot be in a closed space. They will feel suffocated and they will die. Aww. Aww. So anyway, He's like holding a baby! Look at that! <laughs> so you want to hold him, sir? You can hold him. You hold him? Yes. Oh my goodness, they're so sweet. They're holding on like babies. He's like doing this on my back, gently. So ma'am, this one here, that one is flash and this one is speedy. This one is still on training. So if you feel he's gripping you a little hard, you can tell us so we can do something. What's it feel like? She feels so cool. They're just lovable. He's giving you some love <laughs> right now. Your slot's a little more active than mine. <laughs> this one here's a little more like giving some love back. Yeah, he is. This one here's like he's just I'm chilling. Just chill. It's like it's like holding a baby, huh? Yeah, it's like a, a little baby. fur baby. David, you're not gonna hold one? No. Nah. <laughs> no thanks. He's like, nah. I don't want my arm here. I don't think I am either. <laughs> This we got our little fur babies, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> well, we have twin boys, so it's just like... Uh, now we have twin sloths. We have twin sloths. <laughs> like deep right there. Man, he's kind of squeezing on me a bit. Not really. Oh, there he goes. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So they're t- still teaching that one. Good boy. <laughs> I love their faces. I know, they're so cute. William, right here, is the manager <laughs> of Manawaki Park, and look what happened to him. See what happens? When you wrestle the sloths, they win. When you wrestle with the sloth, yeah. Don't wrestle the sloth. They're slow, but they're strong. <laughs> they can put their hand, they can shove the nails inside of a coconut and rip it open in half. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It may take them three days to do it, right? But they get it done. But they get it done. <laughs> Tenacious little boogers. We are literally driving on a beach. That's pretty cool. Our driver just took us to this little dock 
so if we can lift our drones up a little bit. Window, if you guys want to get out. It's... Oh no, I want to get out. Okay, 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 okay. So our driver brought us to a beach. Uh, David and Jason asked, can we fly a drone? Is there a place where we can fly a drone? So he brought us to this beach and literally drove his van up to the beach and David's flying his drone. Jason forgot a piece, so can't fly his, but David's getting really good drone footage. Ooh, I'm gonna get run over. Well, our driver was really cool and gracious enough to bring us down on this beach, drive us on the beach, put us on this pier so that me and David could fly our drones and guess who forgot his phone with the app that I need to connect to my drone. My phone is on the ship. So me and drones just don't get along <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. So guys, don't leave your phone on the ship. Driving on the beach, y'all. Oh, Pretty I cool. Big waves and... Welcome. Uh, my name is Luis. Welcome to my chocolate factory. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to give you a short briefing about cacao. That benefits all the chocolate, and of course, at the end, we're gonna get some free sample chocolate. If you guys can follow me, please. I know somebody's happy. This girl loves her chocolate. Oh, yeah. So we have hit the jackpot. <laughs> have you guys seen it before? The cocoa fruit, the cacao, all right? I will pass it around so you guys can touch, okay? This becomes chocolate. Wow. Inside the fruit, there is between 45 to 50 beans. Right. What is inside? This is the 100% chocolate, and this is the shell. We don't lose the shell. What we do with the shell, we make tea. This fruit, guys, is so much different. It grows on the trunk of the tree. This is the map of Honduras. This is what we are called Veo Islands. We are in the mother of the islands called Roatan. It's the one in the middle, right here. Chocolate, sugar cane. So chocolate and sugar cane. Do you want to try some? How about you, sir? Alright, so what we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna try the free sample chocolate. If you guys can follow me this way now, please. Mmm, good. Good. That's about as raw a form of chocolate as you can get. Ground up cocoa beans and sugar cane. That's good. Okay, this one is 85% uh, dark chocolate. The second one is passion fruit flavor. It's 75% dark chocolate also. It's a stout beer. It's 75% also. Stout beer. Stout beer chocolate. Well, I gotta let you got the camera on you for this one. Milk chocolate. Stout beer. Yeah, that was better. That is, that's interesting. We have 85%, we have 75%, we have 70%, and we also have 65%. If you guys would like, you can fill your own box with different kind of chocolate small bars. We have for 9 for 15, we have 12 for 20, and we have 18 for 28. In this other side, we have the, our cocoa powder. We also have a cocoa dip if you guys would like to make your own chocolate at home. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing making us a box. You can get 12 of these little bars for $20. So I'm getting Jason some of the stout beer. I'm getting Cameron some of the dark chocolate. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of everything because Cameron likes dark chocolate, Colby likes uh, milk chocolate. I like a little bit of all chocolate. I'm getting that stout beer one for Jason. I got one stout beer. Debbie, did you try it? Uh-huh. Did you like it? Dip or bitter, wasn't it? I liked it. It's best of all the dark ones. It was the, it was the least harsh of the dark ones. Yeah, yeah, it was the least harsh. You know what? I'm gonna put this 85% in back. That's a little too much dark chocolate. I'm gonna change. So how do I pronounce the name of this? Alpha Jores. Alpha Jores. It's two cookies with um, the caramel in the middle covered in their their own white chocolate. And pineapple's frozen, so. Oh, 
What'd you get? Chocolate covered pineapple. Chocolate covered pineapple. Oh wow. It's frozen, so you can't munch into it too fast. Have you had a bite yet? Just of the frosting. That sounds crazy and interesting. Yes. Who would ever think of chocolate covered pineapple, but that actually sounds kind of good. I just wanted the chocolate. It's good. White chocolate's good. Mm. Is it cakey in the middle? Mm hmm It's cakey cookies, and it's got caramel in the middle. It's different. The cookie, the cookie is not real sweet. The caramel is on the chocolate. So you've got a kind of combination of like a dry cookie and a sweet. It's good. It's good, though. And our driver's really cool. As we were coming into the chocolate factory, he's like, there's a, a gas station across the street. I'm going to go get you a local beer because I'd said I wanted to try the local beer. And he went and got me one. It's a Salva Vita. Lifesaver is what they call it. It's it right here. And pretty decent beer. I love beer. And then it's, it's really light, really smooth. Almost like a lager. Now I just need about two more. So our driver was just saying they, they import all these from the main island. And these are not, are these plantains? This is the plantains, but what was the other one called that's like the plantain? Chata. Huh? Chata. Chata. Okay. Yeah, and then there's banana. Like, like, like but this the is the plantain right plantain. here. And this is imported from the mainland. mainland. Yeah. yeah. So. Fresh stuff here, y'all. <laughs> Beer? Check. Chocolate? Check. I think we're going to get some rum. I'm going to smell something burning. Rum. Maybe some of this. Oh, just a little side note, it's an island of Rotan is very small, 36 miles around, only four miles wide, and, and the price of fuel right now, five dollars a gallon. This is amazing. Wow. It smells amazing. They're making rum cakes here. So now, not only do they make rum, we can't take rum with us because we have carry-ons only, so we can't bring a big bottle of rum, but we can buy rum cakes. It does smell really good. My nose is leading me to a rum cake. So there's six different kinds. They're all labeled. You can try one of each. So big banana, tropical spice, island original, 151 proof rum, chocolate, and crazy coconut. Yeah, the spice. Okay, let's go for the original first. Mmm. That's good. Crazy coconut. <laughs> not my favorite. I know face. Yeah, my face tells how I'm. There's no line. Okay. So far, I'm agreeing with you. Those two are the best. All right, let's try the 151 proof. Why did I save this one for last? Oh yeah, you can taste. The original is the best. The original and the spice.
this is Foster's West Bay Resort. And so with the tour, we get, with the tour, we get beach chairs included. So now it's just a matter of do we want sun or shade. Well, everybody's taking the spots in the shade. So it's very congested in the shade. Just note, they will ask you to buy bracelets and ask you if you want massages and ask you all kind of stuff relentlessly, so just expect that. Be prepared. Be prepared for that. I understand, you know, they it's how they make their money, but you know, after the fifth time of saying no, you get a little irritated with it. Okay, so one at a beach, it's time for a cerveza, so. Okay, so we are at the beach in Roatan. And we've got our sunscreen on and we're going to get in this water because it's warm and this water looks beautiful and inviting. Really oh, it feels so nice and the water's cool. Oh. Yeah, this, so it was getting quite warm today. And he's like, are you ready for the beach? And we're like, yeah, I think we're ready for the beach. And we're like, but we're not gonna stay long. Well, I think our minds might have changed now that we're here and in this water because this is gorgeous. Beautiful, I mean, like powder sand under my toes, clear, beautiful water. There is a platform, a jumping platform over there. I haven't seen anyone actually jump off of it yet, but I'm super curious if anyone will. I won't do that. <laughs> Jason, did you see the jumping platform? I did. I'm thinking about doing a cannonball. See the jumping platform over there? This is relaxing. I need this. I told you. I've just never been one to go run all over this city and seeing this just put me on a beach next to a next to a jet ski and a boat and a pier and a bar and people just living life, man. L I V I N. There's no G because it's a verb. Living is a verb. Fish? Michelob fish. Jumping <laughs> Michelobes. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping Michelobes. Oh my god, maybe I can catch it. I did. Is Jason going to be brave enough to jump off the dock? He made a friend and they're going to do it together. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Jason. No! That's too high! No! This one! This one! <laughs> he, was about to, he was about to go in all the I don't need him to die. I know, right? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no! He's observing. No, Jason, go, don't go! <laughs> yeah. Lower. Jesus. He said he could touch he touched bottom jumping off the low platform. There is no way he needs to go up to that high platform then. Uh-uh. I need him alive. We did it. I did it. I did touch. I'm not gonna jump off the top. Just because I don't trust it's deep enough. If it was deep enough, I would cannonball off that thing gladly. I promise. But but, to, but today is not the day I want to paralyze myself. No, no. So we'll just yeah. not jump. <laughs> All the way.
way up there we for lunch. Way up there. We asked for authentic food, and this is where he brought He's us. taking us to so. get some local cuisine. tell you the last time I had Coca-Cola in a bottle. I can't see you. You're like a silhouette. No, this Am tastes I? like seven up. This tastes totally different. It's sweet. It's, yeah, I, I, okay, I drink diet soda, so I can't tell you the last time I had a real soda. And yeah, this is cane sugar, but it's so sweet. When you marry your pork, you gotta have that pure cane sugar. When you marinate your pork. <laughs> hey. hey! Are you having fun? I am. What a view we got, huh, guys? I know, it's a great view. And we worked for this view. David got a Sprite. He's going extra hard. It's a tastes like a 7 Up. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't taste like Sprite. It doesn't? This no. doesn't taste like Coca Cola. Really? No. It tastes different. Yeah, this doesn't taste like Coca Cola. The Pepsi he got in Mexico didn't taste like. Yeah, it's like they have a different formula than we have in the U.S. Does it, it doesn't taste bad. It just tastes totally different. Oh well, yeah, it tastes different. It tastes totally different. Yeah. I like went with this, a Salva Vida. Side by side. With a nice little Cover. beer condom. <laughs> well, that looks good and it smells good. Mmm. So there's a lot going on on this plate. We've got this giant piece of fried fish. We've got Caribbean rice and beans. We've got fried plantains. And we have a little salad. So let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. I hear a mmm going mm. on over here. This is delicious. Mmm. <laughs> Get to my snapper snapping. <laughs> Oh, he did say it was snapper, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. So get your snapper snapping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's get a little piece of fish. You're doing it right. The fish tastes good. It's oh, really hot. Interesting. Hot. It's cool. really hot. I'm kind of hot spot in there. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Oh, really? <laughs> it's fresh. So we know they know it's freshly fried. Mmm. Oh, that flavor is good. Ganel is how you say banana in Spanish. But we have plantains on our plate. See, look. Here we go. Over the lips to the gums. Mmm. Salty. Salt. It's almost got a potato texture. It tastes like a nice salted potato. Banana, guineo, plantain, plantano. Plantano. Plantain? Plantain. Plantain. Basically. All right? So a man handed me this note, checked out this little note. Plantano. So this is my second bite of the fish. And this is the red snapper. The snapper? Mm -hmm. Okay. It first of all, it's extremely crispy. You can tell that they know how to fry. And without the sauce, tartar sauce, ketchup, anything. That flavor is a lot of flavor. They know how to season. That's really good. Really good fish. I will say that. I asked our driver, what's a good local beer? At first he said Salva Vida, and which I had means? it. I love it, which means um, lifesaver. Mm -hmm. And then this, I said, well, what do you drink? He said, Barina, and they have one here. I don't think I'm gonna get that. I like this one better, Salva Vida. Okay. Like so Daniel, what are we about to do? 
a special treat for you guys. A special treat. Yes, sir. We're going to a juice station. Let's do it. So me and David are going with the lemon, and the girls are going to do something a little bit more fruitier and sweeter. So we're going with the melon juice, because our driver Daniel said, I've got a special treat for y'all. I want y'all to try before you get back on the ship. And he, he stopped us right here, so that's what we're doing. Oh, these treats are amazing. Yeah. Lemon. Yeah. Lemon. So the lemon is good? Lemon. I have not had mine yet. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. So it's a big ship, y'all. Our awesome driver said, I've got the best spot for you. Yeah. And he pulled in right here so we could get this. And David's going to try and fly his drone and get some drone footage of the ship. Wouldn't that be incredible? Yes. Oh, she's I just ship. wish I wouldn't have got my phone. <laughs> but she really is ginormous and she's beautiful. Carnival has never looked so good. so much more today than I ever imagined. So when you book these tours, you don't really know what, you, what to expect. You know, it said, it gave a list of the things we would go to, but having a private tour like this, if you want to spend more time or less time or go somewhere else or make a stop, and then these are delicious. Oh, great day. Fantastic day. Roatan Fun Tours. There's a link down in the description to their company. We, we had a great day. Great day with great friends, great tour guide, nice genuine local company. Check them out. Which one? This one? This one it is. Here's the mahogany base on. We're gonna take a picture. Here's where we've been all day. Look, mahogany bay. We didn't get it on the way in, so we're getting all the way out. I think it was good. I think we had a good day. <laughs> what an incredible ship. It's very windy right here, so I'm holding my hat on. It's pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna take the hat off. We're back on the beautiful Carnival Mardi Gras. Yep. Today's the last port day, so after we get back on the ship, we've got two days at sea to actually explore some of the areas we have not seen yet on this yes. massive ship. Absolutely. <laughs> so let's get to it. we got a lot of exploring to do because yes, it's a do. lot of ship to see. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 